We can all agree that the issues that we see with outer jackets of cables can lead to costly downtime in our machines. In this video, we'll talk about what is the actual root cause of those problems and issues and what we can do to proactively avoid it for engineers out in the field. Hi, I'm Tim Marin with Agus. Today, we review jacket cracking and swelling as well as jacket abrasion. Each of these issues can compromise the electrical and mechanical performance of cables in machines. We'll also review the different designing aspects needed for a good continuous flexing cable. So let's dive into jacket cracking. Here we have an example of a cable that has a cracked jacket. Now, why does cracking happen? Typically because of two reasons. One, the bend radius of the cable inside of a cable carrier, or E-chain, is too low. And therefore, there's mechanical forces acting on the jacket material that are forcing it to essentially break apart. The second reason could be uh, a temperature issue for a material that particular cable isn't resistant to. With jacket swelling, that occurs when there are different types of media, oils, chemicals, coolants, that kind of thing, that are put on a cable that isn't actually resistant to those different materials and media. So what ends up happening is those outside influences get absorbed into the jacket material and therefore start to cause other failures, including jacket cracking. But the swelling is the first thing that happens, so that's why we kind of make a distinction between the two failure modes. The final failure type that we see in outer jackets is jacket abrasion. Now in this particular example, we can see where the jacket is actually abrading against the cable carrier. Now you can even see that there's actually uh, some of the material that's abraded off of the outer jacket when used in cycling back and forth in an E-chain on the table here, because this particular cable probably isn't suited for use in a moving application. What abrasion essentially does is it starts to wear at the outer jacket material and that can cause serious issues down the line because we can get into and start digging at the conductors, which means we'd have a loss of continuity, but it could also break the shielding, which means we'd have all sorts of EMI issues and problems. IGUS addresses these issues in several different ways. For the jacket cracking and swelling aspect, we essentially have seven different jacket materials that we offer, from a cost-effective PVC material all the way up to a high mechanical quality in TPE. Now, these different jacket materials do a good job of covering several different things like the different temperature ranges based on your application needs as well as different types of media, oils, chemicals, coolants, and that type of thing. For abrasion resistance, all of our IGUS cables are abrasion resistant. They are tested specifically inside of cable carriers so that we know they're going to move well in a continuous flexing application and they're not going to have abrasion problems against the E-chain. For more information, you can check out our design guide in the link below. Also, we have several other design points for our cables and you can see them here. Thanks for watching.